Hi there. I'm Alexey, a product manager at Pandadoc. And here is a video about creating documents from templates in Pandadoc API. Last time, we took a look at this authentication part of our API, and we already have some variables set in our Postman environment. If you need some additional help to understand how to work with Postman, what is collection, environment, and how to proceed with authentication, please refer to our previous video. Now, let's continue with the Documents API part, and specifically with this create document from Pandadoc template method. Here, as usual, we can just click to get the description of this method, and see that, for example, we need to provide value for variable template ID. We have some details and sample template, and overall details of document creation. Let's take a look at this request. Here we have header. Access token is already filled in in our previous video. So let's just go to the body. Here we can see the creation of uh, a document from some template. Here is a variable for template ID, which we will use to create a document. As we already remember, we need to provide a value for it. We have some recipients for the documents. We have tokens, fields, some metadata that is provided with the request, and a pricing table here. So let's check. Maybe we already have some templates, so we can just reuse it here. We can go to Templates API and just click these templates and check do we have anything. I have no templates in my current account, so the results is empty. So we will need to get a template by ourselves. OK, let's come back here and check that for details in the same template. We can go to the link. Let's do it. We've been redirected to our developers.pondodoc.com uh, the documentation portal. And here we have a description of the request that we are trying to make. We already have some variable here, but it will not work for us because it's, in, it's just an example for another account. So let's just scroll and find this link. Download the sample Pandadoc template. Let's just click it. And we are redirected to Pandadoc application itself. So the main thing here to, is that we are under documents, not templates, because this document was just created from template that uh, we've got. So let's switch from documents to templates. And here we can find that a few seconds ago, a new template just appeared in our account. Let's click it. And yeah, here is the template with a token, several fields, and a pricing table. Let's see, can we got it from uh, our API? Go to the same list templates in my method, click it, and yeah, here it is. We have an ID of this template here. We also can get the same ID here. Let's just add it to our environment. Click Edit and insert it under template ID variable. Now we also can use this template details method. Here we can see a lot of information about our template. Its name, when it was created, by whom it was created, some metadata, all the, all the tokens that are present in this template. For example, we can see here that internally everything in our pricing table is a token, so we have various uh, names and values for these tokens here in pricing table. We have fields, uh, pricing table itself, and then tags, roles, and so on and so forth. So let's come back to our create document from Pandadoc template method. We've just provided value for template ID, and basically we're good to go. The only thing that is left here is that we have recipients part, and here we are using just an example email uh, to send this document for a recipient. But uh, example.com will not work for us as we want to be able to receive a notification when a recipient actually will receive this uh, document. So I will just change this email to my own. So we can later take a look at what actually was sent to our recipient. And now we're all set and good to go. I will just click send. And request was successful. We got a document created here. 
and it was created in the document uploaded status. It's important to understand what does it actually mean. Um, basically, Pandadoc needs some time to process the document when it's on Pandadoc site. So when the status is uploaded, it means that we still can't use the document, see it on user interface or somehow interact with it because it's under processing right now. To check that we are good to go with uh, this particular document, we need to go to document status at the point. Here we're using document ID variable. It's already set as usual because we are using this test part of Postman and just set an environment variable to, for this document ID that we've got from our response. So you can just check document status and see that the document is on draft state right now. So basically we can start working with it and let's check how it looks on our user interface. I will go back to documents and see that just a minute ago, your document appeared. Let's click. And yeah, we've seen a document that was just created via our API. Token value is set, fields are set, and we have one value in our pricing table. So we can complete this document. I cannot send it right now. I can see this complete button because it was sent to me, to my account, and it was created under my account. If a recipient will be different from me, it will be sent here. But we also can go to Postman and go to send document link and see that here we can send a document via IOA API. We can specify some messages that we want our recipients to see and some other options that we'll cover in further videos. For now, let's just click send and check that the document was actually sent. Now I am coming back to the document here. It was in trust state. I am reloading the page, and the document now is sent. And also here, I've just received a notification that I was sent a document, and this document was sent from Pandadoc API. Exactly the message that we've provided during the, during execution of the send method. So basically, we've just ended with a document that was created and sent via Pandadoc API. Thanks for your attention and have a nice day.